Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we'll be covering how to use the Nagios XI API to run an apply configuration command. So before I walk you through it, I'll just kind of show you where to look in the web GUI to see the API calls. First thing you'll do is press the Help tab up at the top of the Nagios XI homepage, and then go to System Reference. This is, uh, this is where you'll see all the system commands, or the system API calls, rather, for Nagios XI. The first one is actually our apply configuration command. So you can see that we're targeting the IP address of our Nagio server, and then a bunch of sub URLs all the way down to the apply config command, and then we include our custom API key and format it in a nice way. So we'll just copy this out and we'll log into our server. Pull up putty over here, and we will just SSH into our server. That's 5.60. Log in as the root user. Excellent. And then I'll paste that API call in right here. So let's just say you've added a couple of hosts or services through the API, and you haven't applied the configuration yet. This is the call that you'd run to do so. So we'll, uh, we'll just apply the configuration now. And it says the apply config command has been sent to the backend. Now what this means is that Nagios is going to reload the, uh, the Nagios process in the backend. And if we actually take a look at the Nagios process, let's just grep for slash bin slash nag, you can see that it's running right here. And it's been running since 1343, which is, in fact, just about a minute ago when I applied that configuration. So you can tell that the Nagios process has actually restarted via that API call. And I'll kind of show you that once more. So if we take the apply config command, paste it here, and then take a look at the Nagios process once more with that grep. You can see that it's been running since 1344 this time, meaning it's just restarted once more. So that's how you know that the apply config has gone through appropriately, is if the Nagios process in fact does, uh, does in fact reload. And that's all there is to it. Um, just to see that API key in a, uh, in a more simple way, we can stick it in Notepad and kind of deconstruct it. So what I'll do is I'll take this, put it over here, and you can see we're just calling into the backend, and the easiest way to look at it is to kind of break it up. So we're just running our curl command against this backend, and the command that we're uh, processing is actually the apply config command with the option of API key, and then we're just giving it a nice format. So that's all there is to it. That's how you uh, go about applying the configuration in Nagios XI via the API. And if you have any questions about that process, please feel free to contact us at the support forum. We're at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, please feel free to check out our related content below. Thanks.